Hi, and welcome to The Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with Breathe Carolina. Hi, how are you? <laughs> how you feeling? Doing good. Yeah. All right. Dave and Kyle, welcome to nice. The Rave for your very first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, we're excited. I've heard a lot about this venue. So. I know we missed uh, the last time that we were here. We uh, we got snowed in, in Denver, actually, and so we, we missed our Minnesota show. We missed this show. Yeah. And then, we, and then we caught up with it, but... Yeah, that was, was take action. That was some months ago. So I was just gonna ask about that. So what was, yeah, yeah. that was that the first time you're in that kind of situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, it, it was weird because we played our show at the Gothic in Denver, and then we went home because we were just gonna mob the drive out to Minnesota the next morning. And uh, I woke up and I called my tour manager. I was like, "Yo, what time are we leaving?" He's like, "Dude, I don't think we're going anywhere." I was like, "What?" He's like, "You haven't looked outside yet?" And I was like, "No." I looked outside and it's just white out. And there was not a single drop of anything before I went to sleep. And I woke up and there was just snow everywhere. It was crazy. And we just sat there, we're like, uh. There no cars on the roads and the highway that yeah. we had to take to even get here was closed. So it was like impossible yeah. every way around it. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The weather worked out this time. To yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you heard? Did you guys get to walk throughout the rave yet? Yeah, yeah. actually. We actually, um, us, a couple of us and the guys in Family Force 5, we just strapped on knee pads and went and ran and slid down the pool in our knee pads. But I didn't go down downstairs because it was scary. Oh, I did. So it was I, awesome. I, I definitely just did the knee pad thing. <laughs> yeah, I went like all the way around, like underneath, like there's like these little windows, like in the pool. Mm -hmm. We walked like all around, like that whole little tunnel section and yeah. went like back, like in the boiler room and like, went, went all around. And, it was fun. <laughs> I had nice. a good time. So just don't hurt yourself in the pool next time. Yeah. <laughs> There's been stories. Have there? Going, yeah, oh. Well, I think it's pretty much lit right now, but there are times that it's pitch black yeah. and people don't realize that. And Oh, man, just but, falling down there. But have fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So can you tell us about how you guys got together and got Breathe Carolina formed? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's pretty much like... We had known each other because um, we were in different bands like a while ago, and we like had played shows like our bands together, and um, we just like I, I, we always kind of knew each other a little bit. And then we we ended up just like moving in together somehow. Like he had a house downtown, I moved in with a couple of my other friends, and then I just randomly had, like made a song, and I did a little singing on it, or whatever. And then I just like asked Kyle if he wanted to come and try to just like do some vocals on it, and he did, and we just liked it and just kept making songs and it was kind of just all like a joke at first we were just like oh we're just making funny songs and then like we didn't even have a myspace or anything and i guess we like just made a myspace and it kind of just went like on and then we just kept making songs so yeah david actually was living in a house um that i used to live in and uh he was living with the kid that i used to live with and i started hanging out with him again and that's how d and i kind of got reacquainted and just kind of went from there so that's how he ended up living with me in the place that I was living and kind of just spawned from there for sure. Pretty nice. cool. Sweet. Well, what's the meaning to the name? That's D's thing, man. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I was in like ninth grade, I think, and um, I just kept having this like really weird, like reoccurring dream that like this lady named Carolina was like living my life and I could like see it through like an outside perspective kind of. I don't know, it was crazy, but I just like it really just like hit me weird and I just always would think about like just chill out Carolina like you know what I mean kind of like telling her to calm down and stuff and then I always had it in my head from ninth grade on so I kind of just was like dude what about Breathe Carolina and Kyle was like I'm down and so mm -hmm. it's kind of like that. <laughs> have you ever met anybody named Carolina? Yeah we have actually. A few people. A few people. Everyone thinks we're from like one of the North Carolina or South Carolina yeah. but we're not. Where are you at in Carolina? No, man, we're from Denver, dude. <laughs> They're like, oh, what? <laughs> oh, let's talk about your new album, Hello yeah. Fascination. Oh, yeah. Just fill us in about how you got it all put together. Um, we actually recorded it in California, and um, David had actually done some like pre-pro stuff, like doing some pre-production work, and and um, because we did the whole first album, ourselves. Like, like David did the whole first album himself and produced it himself, and there's my phone. But uh, um, with this record, we were working with a guy named Mike Green and a guy named Matt Squire for three songs. And, and uh, working with a producer was, was definitely different 
but it was awesome like it was definitely a weight off our backs like going into it we were really nervous you know i know d was and and uh once we were finally there like everything just went really fast you know a month and a half we did 15 tracks um one of which comes out on our uh japanese release that it hasn't even leaked which i'm surprised of like no one's really been able to find it and uh we had uh jeffrey stars on the track our friend dave from this band every avenue is on it um our friend austin carlisle who plays in a band called the mice and men uh also screams on it and um they can't even find the track which is cool <laughs> they don't even have a copy we the, it, it actually exists on my ipod and back home but i think i'm the only one who even owns the track so so that song will come out on the third and then uh, all the other tracks were just you know done in three days or less like cover to cover everything you know we start we would start you know layer like like david and mike would do you know the guitar stuff and they would basically learn it on or like the structure on acoustic guitars or just regular guitars and then they would translate it either into keyboards or it would be guitar or like whatever and so it's kind of how it how every track was kind of created and mm-hmm. just do little sections we get to the vocal part we write the vocals go in the booth record the vocals that was it okay. that's fun did you guys write the songs together or yeah yeah yeah, yeah. We, wrote, we wrote everything together and we would just sit down in a room with like us two and mike green or matt squire and just all kind of just collab and make it what it is i guess mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you guys working on a video for the song A Little Fascination or any other track? Yeah, uh, we're supposed to go. Uh, we don't even know the exact dates yet. Um, I mean, we know we know the director that's going to shoot our stuff. But uh, other than that, I mean, the concept exists, but we don't know what it's going to look like. You know, we're just going to go and do whatever it is we got to do and see what happens after that i i I, i'm i'm assuming it'll be out like beginning of next year but i'm not sure yeah we just go with the flow (laughs) tell us what it be man what are we doing (laughs) it makes it more fun that way absolutely and you guys do something really cool when you're on tour you have other musicians joining you on stage yeah joining the band for your live performances and what do you find most beneficial about doing that i think I think for me, it just makes it more like, because we play everything live, you know what I mean? So it makes it, because everything's electronic, like on our CD, you know? And like, oh, like on the new one, there's live instruments, but everything's electronic. So it makes it more, it still like has like the electronic feel. It makes it feel more like a real, like a full band, you know what I mean? Because we have like drums and like other synths and guitar and stuff like that. So it kind of just, and it fills up the stage and it just makes it feel a lot more real. Which is like, I, I think it's just like, it is more real you know what i mean it's not it's not just like it's a totally different experience than what you think you're gonna get like if you don't know our band or maybe you've just seen our myspace and you just see the two of us and then you go to the live show like it's definitely more of an interactive experience i guess like visually and like just being there and like seeing more people having more people around and that's that that was that's always kind of been like a big thing for me thinking about you know if it was just two of us like how many people can we meet with two people but when you have nine people that cruise with you you have that many more people that you're interacting with you know what i mean so it's 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 constantly people around us which is awesome and that's i think what i love the most about it is that it's our best friends just kicking it with us you know it's a constant just like we just constantly are a little a little tiny party everywhere we go you know we're always just kicking it and hanging out so that's cool Speaking of touring, you guys, is that you have another tour coming up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're actually uh, doing a headliner after this tour that we're on, so so that'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just have the guys in Cash Cash mentioned. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, they're gonna kick it with us. That'll be cool. <laughs> we love those boys, so awesome. that'll be cool. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much, Dave. Yeah, Powell, thank you so for much. joining us, and hopefully next time we'll do another interview. Yeah, yeah. awesome for sure. Another story from. No exploration around the building, I yeah, hope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll bring David down to that little cellar place next I time. I might do it. <laughs> yeah. He'll, yeah. like, get, like, halfway and be like, oh, no, Bron. <laughs> <laughs> too scared. Sweet. All right. Well, thank you very much again for yeah, hanging out with so us. Much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And thank you for watching the Rave TV. Make sure to check out Breathe Carolina's new album, Hello Fascination. We will see you next time on the Rave TV.